My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, every year on 30th July, we celebrate the feast of Saint Peter Chrysologus. Peter was born in Imola, Italy, and he was educated and received a very upright bringing. He always was filled with piety and simplicity. He was ordained a deacon and continued to preach the gospel of Christ. He had the influence of Emperor Valentinian III and he was also made the Archdeacon. Even before his ordination, Peter was made the Bishop of Ravenna. And when he was made the Bishop, he started preaching and making reforms in the church and in his diocese. We see he spoke to the people of Ravenna to devoutly prepare themselves for the Eucharist. He was known for his simple, short and inspiring homilies. He was a powerful preacher and would go hours and hours preaching to the people about various issues of the church. His piety and zeal have been of great admiration to the people. And the surname which he received, Chrysologus, which means golden worded from the Empress who was inspired by his homily. Peter preached beautifully and around 176 of his sermons still are in existence. They contain sound doctrine and application to daily moral life. He preached on the church traditional beliefs and in Mary's perpetual virginity, on Eucharistic presence of Jesus and the primacy of Peter and his successors. Peter lived a simple life of piety and had within himself a zeal to preach the Lord. He died in the year 450 on 2nd December, whereas his feast falls on 30th July. In the early calendar, it was said that his feast was moved to 31st July and later on to 30th July, a more closer date of his death. In 1729, he was declared as the doctor of the church. He was an ardent preacher and believed in always giving the gospel of Christ to the people. My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, as we celebrate the feast of Saint Peter Chrysologus, let us pray through his intercession that we too continue to powerfully preach the message of Jesus in this world.